Hello? Is anybody here? Hey, where my engines at? Hey, yo, bro, where the ladies at, man? More will be here soon. Okay, but what about the uh, wines of the river and the 70 virgins? Oh, God never said this. Y'all made that up. Damn, for real? You know, I didn't do that stuff in real life, so I can come and do it here, but I guess whatever. To those who ask, this is why I don't follow Hadith. With a single verse from the Quran, I will destroy your whole entire Hadith collection. Together with your hundreds of years of studies, your scholars, and your sectarian beliefs. None of your sectarian books have a chance against the Quran. Are you ready for it? Those are the proofs of God. We recite them to thee in truth. Then in what hadith, after God and his proof, will they believe? That's actually a question in the Quran, so go ahead and answer it in the comment section. I also left the word hadith untranslated for better understanding. Okay, so what we're going to do is break this down, alright? We're going to talk about this because this is a very important topic uh, to cover here because I can also prove to you Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Alhamdulillah Alright, um, uh, they say that only, uh, the Quran is like a sacred source, right? And the Hadith and the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad, peace may be upon him, were just like fairy tales and they were too, uh, dubious or whatever, uh, to take and they were there was no uh, academic uh, rigor in them and that uh, they could, couldn't trust them, you know. So, but you, they could only trust the Quran or whatever. You know, so that rattled me. Because they're starting to make their own religion and it's starting to get very populated. So, we have to stop this. They are reducing in denigrating one of the most important messengers to us that uh, received revelation throughout 23 years, a uh, 23 year period. Okay. Um, so, now let's talk about history, right? How did people know about the Quran? What, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, how was the Quran revealed? Was it written? I don't believe that. Okay. No, right? Then how are people knowing the Quran? Because Prophet Muhammad is speaking it, right? So, this is a very long time ago because the Quran was uh, getting compiled until. Uh, until after his death, it was like two years after his death, it was getting compiled. He was uh, the one uh, carrying the message. So when we think about the Quran today, we're thinking about a book, right? That's all we're thinking about. Alright? So, we're thinking about a book. A very great book for us. Um, but at that time, they, uh, they were... Uh, when they thought about the Quran, they were thinking about Prophet Muhammad. Peace may be upon him. Right? So, let's get this straight. The Quran and Prophet Muhammad was inseparable. So, why does it need to be inseparable now? Alright? Why do we have to change history? And at the time, they couldn't even uh, think about a book. They didn't have that capability as we do today. This is a very, very important topic. Um, and it's something that's really, really important. So I want to make supposedly this quick video and highlight what the role of the messenger is. And I'm, going, I'm only going to speak from the Quran. Because uh, they don't believe in anything else, alright? 
I mean, I, 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 I'm not in that religion, so I'm in the religion of Islam. I, I don't know what Islam that they're practicing, but Allah tells us the role of the messenger, and obviously the final messenger, you know, Prophet Muhammad. All right. So in this ayah, in the uh, Surah Al uh, Al Irman. Uh, my Arabic is bad, but Allah gives us the responsibility uh, of the messenger. Uh, those are four. Uh, these are four. All right. Number one, he reads. Uh, he uh, number one, he uh, recites the verse to people. So uh, the when the messenger uh, receives the verse from Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, uh, when they uh, are revealed to him. Then he is to recite them to the people of uh, to uh, acquit it on um, the people uh, with those verses, uh, you know, uh, 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 with those verses. All right. So, second, um, responsibility to purify those people. So these verses and the relationship. Uh, uh, with the holy book is uh, going to have purifying the effect on the hearts of uh, these individuals. It's the job of the messenger. Uh, he, uh, you know, wanted to facilitate that. So the uh, number three is to teach the people the book, meaning that to uh, uh, that to teach. The people uh, the pr uh, proper understanding of the book of the Quran, all right? Because I, you know, I, you know, it's not really a book for us. And the fourth responsibility is uh, to give uh, the prophet to teach the uh, uh, the more Jamika, Jamika, Jakima, Jakima. Uh, and the Arabic trans, uh, tra uh, translation, you know, it's wisdom. I'm telling you guys, I'm terrible in Arabic, but I could talk to you in Spanish. And when you think of, about wisdom as the concept, it, it, it is when somebody appropriately and correctly applies a fact or a knowledge that they know. Alright, so, um, for example, Fire is hot. That's knowledge. That's not wisdom. That is not that uh, uh, anything that applied or Im uh, uh, Im implemented. Um, fire is hot as a statement of uh, of a fact not touching fire because it's hot and you uh, you know uh, uh, you will burn yourself it is uh, no knowledge applied all right so the meaning that it is wisdom okay so the job of the messenger, the uh, uh, fourth uh, job, along with the other three, is to teach every individual in, uh, the practical, practical implications uh, of uh, the Quran, the book. All right. How else they were going to learn? That being uh, that that being revealed. Uh, you know the uh, the uh, Sunnah, for example, uh, met, uh, methodology of the prophecy. Um, so this is how Allah Himself leg legislate that the messenger is the role, uh, uh, and not reduce that the uh, mailman or the person who is uh, just delivering person hear the Quran. You know, say. Here, here's the Quran and thank you and have a nice day. No, um, but it is in, uh, 
but it is uh, the job of the messenger to deliver, to teach, uh, to deliver, you know, and recite, to teach and purify uh, and give practical uh, implication, uh, implications to the people to know exactly how am I supposed to act upon, you know, this book, the Quran that was revealed to him. Okay. So, uh, that's number uh, one, the second uh, uh, major point that we find the Quran, uh, you know, the role of the messenger and the obedience of the messenger because now uh, that's that we've established the role of the prophet Muhammad, peace may be upon him, we established the uh, role. Uh, now, second question is, we do have to listen and obey everything uh, he says and the things that he teaches us. Allah says it himself. He answered this question very powerfully through a Quranic re revelation. Yeah, you didn't know that? All right, let's talk about it. When a law talks about the concept of a thora, um, a thora in Arabic language means obedience. All right, terrible in Arabic. All right, and a law clearly, clearly in the Quran talks uh, about the human uh, being's job is to obey a, a law. Right. What's so interesting is that. In every single verse that a law talks about obedience to a, a law, um, he couples that with obedience to the messenger, Prophet Muhammad. Very powerful, very important for us to know that when a law talks about obedience. To him, self, he couples that with the messenger, which means that this relig uh, religion is uh, uh, defined by obedience to a law and obedience to his messenger. The last point, all right, is uh another concept in the Quranic literature which uh, is known as it itabe uh, I, I, I'm think I'm say, saying that right uh, itabe whatever but let me give you the uh, you know a, a correct translation in English the Arabic meaning to is to follow follow all right uh, you know follow someone like step it like step by step so when you're trying to walk in their footsteps, all right, itabe, itabe, all right, whatever. All right, when Allah talks about uh, this concept with uh, regards to the messenger, he, uh, he actually makes it a condition in order uh, to earn uh, his love. So. If somebody truly loves the law, right, and says the Quran is the only sacred book, that brings us, you know, to the beginning, the sacred book, the only sacred book, and we know we got to do it because we love the law uh, so much. When the law is telling that person if uh, you want, if you want uh, me to love you back, then you have to follow the messenger when he says, if you truly love a law, then follow me. He's telling the uh, the messenger to say this to people. Uh, what uh, what's the result of this? 
okay? That Allah will love you and he will forgive you of your sins. I mean, we could continue and talk about this, but, you know, I mean, if you deny that, you're denying the Quran. There's no way out of that. I'm sorry this video took this long, but... <laughs>